students in American schools versus British schools. American schools. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're seniors. I need a photographer for my senior photo shoot. Prom is coming! You need to get a photo for the yearbook. I'm graduating, so I've got an open house. Please bring money. It's senior ditch day. That's why I'm not there. I'm sad to leave, but I'll see you at homecoming, right? Versus British schools. Are we done yet? Graduation in American schools versus British schools. American schools. The past four years have been a journey. We've had high highs. And yes, we've had low lows. But if there's one thing I've learned from being here at Cracker Barrel High, it's that. Class of 2021, we made it. Versus British schools. Here, are you going to graduation? Mate, that was last week. Oh, oh well. First day back at school in America versus England. America. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Welcome back. Happy first day. Love the outfit, Crystal. Hills in a dress on the first day. You're going to rock the fifth grade. Okay, everyone, repeat after me. Go dog. Woo, woo. This is going to be the best year ever. Versus England. Greetings, everyone. This year will be one of the most difficult of your young lives. Any questions? Can we leave yet? Spirit Weeks in American schools versus British schools. American schools. Okay, everyone. The themes for this week's Spirit Week are now in. And they are Minion Monday. Taylor Swift Tuesday. The Wiener Takes It All Wednesday. Free Britney Thursday. And Thank Duckets Friday. I'm so excited. Versus British schools. Okay, everyone. I've heard your request for a Spirit Week. And I just want to say that's far too much. We're going to do one day, a non-uniform day, this Friday, and bring in a pound. It's not free. That Friday. Morning, sir. Oh, is that a hoodie? Yeah, it's non-uniform day. Yes, it's non-uniform day. Not hooligan day. Office now. Complaints in British schools versus American schools. British schools. My dad said if you don't stop following me, he's going to come to the school and he's going to knock you out. All right, mate. Tell Scrappy Doo I'll be waiting. Versus American schools. My dad said if you don't pass me, he's writing a letter to the board. Oh, no, not the board. Yeah, and he plays golf with the chairman. Oh, no, I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> Dress code violations in British schools versus American schools. British schools. Morning, sir. Morning. Oh, stop right there. What's the issue, sir? Let me measure that tie. Um, okay. Oh, just as I thought, your tie is 0.8 of an inch shorter than is mandated in the dress code manual. Please don't send me to the head teacher's office. It's too late, man. Get out. No. Versus American schools. With our dress codes, we want our students to be comfortable. And oh, oh. Is everything okay, mister? Are those spaghetti straps? Yeah, I like made them myself. Stay calm, everyone. Stay calm. I like don't see what the issue is. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we're going to have to close down the school. We've got a 1919. That's right. Spaghetti straps in class. Discipline in American schools versus British schools. American schools. You're a bad head. Okay, Johnny, can you come over here for a moment, bud? Am I in trouble? You're not in trouble, but I just want to ask you, how do you think Scooter feels now that you've just called him a bad head? I think he feels sad. Yes, Johnny. And we don't want our friends to feel sad, do we? No, mister. Now get back to class and be the rock star that I know you are. Versus British schools. Your mum! I'll be calling your mum in a minute! Out! Non-uniform days in British schools versus American schools. British schools. Happy non-uniform day. That'll be a pound, Johnny. There you go, sir. Excellent. Now go to the head teacher's office. What? Why? For that diabolical breach of dress code. What? My hoodie? It's non-uniform day, sir. Yes. And if you look at the fine print of the non-uniform day contract, it clearly states no hoodies allowed. Well, can I at least have my pan back? Not on my watch, boy. Versus American schools. Oh, nice outfit, Johnny. What's the occasion? I just totally forgot to do laundry, man. <laughs> We've all been there, bud. Now careful with those horns. Physical education in British schools versus American schools. British schools. Right, we're going to do Bulldog. Does everyone remember the rules? One team defends, one team attacks, and we try not to die. Exactly. Now, some of you are going to get hurt, especially you. I'm scared, sir. You should be. Now, line up. Versus American schools. Right on, right on. So today we're playing dodgeball. Mister, don't you think this is a bit dangerous? Skirt, skirt, yeet. Awesome job, Johnny. You rock star.
Bumping into people from school in America versus England. America. Oh my gosh, is that Rachel from Cracker Barrel High? Hi, Stephanie. I married, have three kids, own my own house, and just got a promotion. What's going on with your life, babe? I had Oreos for breakfast. Oh, wonderful. It's so nice to know that I'm doing better than you. This has been awful as always. <laughs> for you. Bye, babe. Versus England. Excuse me, did you go to Hogwarts High? Nah, mate, not me. Are you sure? I swear. Take the hint, Michael. Piss off.